नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स दिस इज एन जे होस्ट ऑन दिस चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल हैव अवर डिस्कशन ऑन अंडरस्टैंडिंग योर फाइनेंशियल स्टेट एंड द डायरेक्शन ऑफ योर फाइनेंशियल प्रोस्पेरिटी इन दिस लाइफ टाइम सो फ्रेंड्स द आइडिया टू मेक दिस वीडियो केम टू मी आफ्टर गेटिंग अ गुड रिस्पॉन्स ऑन रिसेंटली अपलोडेड वीडियो वेर वी डिस्कस्ड द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द नाइन्थ हाउस इन ऑल एरियाज ऑफ योर लाइफ where we also discussed the key to unlock the hidden fortune of the ninth house so afterwards i realized that more than the spirituality in today's day and age finances is the primary thing which motivates or drives everyone so why not we should have a discussion on this concept as well and if you would have paid attention at the beginning i used the word financial state and the financial prosperity as well and friends whenever we talk about any area of life where you want to feel prosperous you want to feel fulfilled so important is that you should be in a state to devote that area of your life completely to divine unconditionally to divine so that is something which we will try to understand in this video that the areas of your financial success the direction of the financial success and what could be the spiritual approach or guiding principles while being in the pursuit of that financial success so okay friends to begin with if you want to understand any of the concerns of the finances so the house which gets the limelight is the second house so i mean to say second house tells about your savings about your position about your financial management what do you do to meet your financial needs this house also tells about all form of your liquid assets and at the same time it also tells about your self esteem it also tells about your self worth and apart from that because our today's discussion is going to be completely devoted to the financial part only but at the same time second house also tells about your instilled values like growing up what kind of values or virtues you have been taught you have been trained and at the same time this house also tells about your speech when you open your mouth what kind of speech you use what kind of words you use so friends you have to understand this thing that if second house is the house of your finances so with so ever planet is going to be present over here that planet bases its own innate nature and whatsoever house that planet is going to be ruling it is going to contribute the financial aspect from those areas or from those ruling houses as well so that is one way to understand this thing the second thing is that you also have to give attention to individually the significator of the second house the karaka of the second house which is the planet jupiter because jupiter also represents wealth and it also represents expansion and prosperity so friends so far we understood this thing that second house tells about your finances which so ever planet is going to be present in your second house that planet bases its nature and rulership of the houses it is going to contribute to your financial success but friends when we talk about your financial prosperity so you also have to give attention to in which house your second house lord is placed because see when we talk about your career we always give attention to the sixth house which is the house of your daily work life which is the house of your competitive spirit and we also give attention to the 10th house which is the house of your career which is the house which tells about your deeds your professional endeavors but there could be all those people who are doing or who are completely engaged in voluntary work like when we talk about all the ascetics or all the people of enlightened spiritual state so their deeds their actions do not actually literally involve the finances or the financial aspect attached to it but when we talk about purely the financial state or financial affairs we always have to give attention to the second house and guys if you will try to understand this thing from the spiritual perspective so even in our spiritual books it has been advised that a person a man should undertake only those kind of jobs first of all which he should love doing second thing is that where the work should serve the society third point could be 
where whatsoever work you are going to do it should be in sync with your nature with your capabilities and lastly most importantly that you do not have to run after the money you should be so good in your work in your skill that money should automatically come to you so if you are going to be that good or if you are going to be in the right profession so definitely money is not going to be a concern but in today's day and age just because we have so many platforms we have so many provisions so when we talk about purely from the financial state so you have to give attention to in which house your second house lord is placed so that is going to give you this idea have you like actually exploited or explored that house where your second house lord is present is it actually contributing you to your financial success so that is something friends which we are going to discuss in this video and like the way i said this thing that for any form of fulfillment it is very important to devote yourself unconditionally to the divine so we will also try to understand on the basis of the four principles or aims of the human life as it has been explained in our vedic scriptures like where the four purusharthas can be understood in the form of the dharma artha kama moksha i mean to say even in our chart dharma triangle can be understood as the first house fifth house ninth house which tells about righteousness the second triangle is the artha triangle which tells about the economic values where the second house sixth house tenth house comes in the picture the third triangle is the kama triangle which tells about your desires which tells about the pleasures and the fourth triangle is the moksha triangle which tells about the conscious awareness and it also tells about the liberation so okay friends now we will try to understand your second house lord's placement in different houses in your chart so let's say for example if any point of time you will find your second house lord present in the first house so you have to understand this thing that first house is you first house is your own efforts you do not have to go to any one first house is you whatsoever you have to do you are going to do by yourself so i mean to say guys this placement can be seen as good in a way that i have seen many people who are self made who are freelance who have their own businesses or who even work with the government so i mean to say that could be seen as in a way that for your financial success somehow you are by yourself responsible for that you have got that capacity to actually accumulate and amass good wealth in this lifetime the only thing here guys which is involved is that if you will count from the second house if you have to reach the first house the ascendant so you have to go 12 houses away so many times with this combination it has been seen that the native has to be away from his family for long time in order to accumulate or amass or earn money or earn good wealth and just because it is qualifying as the moksha triangle so that also tells about whatsoever you are going to do or undertake in order to make money or earn wealth there has to be complete devotion unconditional surrender focus and conscious awareness of your actions moving ahead friends if any point of time you will find the second house lord being present in the second house so that is going to give us this indication that your second house is very rooted your second house is very strong so all the second house significations are going to get accentuated going to get in a strengthened state to give you good financial success so i mean to say whether in the form of your speech being very eloquent you might get the support of your family and most importantly guys second house also tells about your instilled values so many times i have seen this thing that all those people in whose chart their second house you will find strengthened so they are able to accumulate save good money and if the second house lord is in a good state or in good dignity i mean to say it is not being a conjunct or respected by the malefic planets and the karaka of the second house which is jupiter if jupiter is also in a strengthened state so these natives end up 
making good wealth in this lifetime and where they do not even have to compromise on their values and their speech is definitely going to be very impressive at the same time so just because guys with this combination the aim if you have to understand it on the perspective of the four aims of human life so it is falling in the category of the dharma so i mean to say righteousness is one thing which you have to abide by in order to keep uh, retaining your current financial state or make it grow much more in times to come moving ahead friends if any point of time you will find your second house lord to be placed in the third house so friends this can be seen as a very good placement where your skills are definitely going to be in a so strengthened state that that is going to contribute to your financial success so i mean to say whether you are a salaried person whether you have your own business it is very important to strengthen and sharpen your craft with each following day and at the same time whether in the form of your friends your neighborhood your uh, siblings so they also can play a very important role in your financial success or they can also contribute to your financial success guys the most important part here is that which you have to remember that from second house if you will go to the third house so that is coming in the uh, like falling in the category of the artha so i mean to say whatsoever your terms are or your bonding is whether you are dealing with your in your family business with your siblings or whether it's your common friends important is that the prospects of the finances the economic values shouldn't be compromised so that is one thing which i want to tell you over here now if you want to understand it from the general perspective so yes all the third house related connected professions now whether it's about sales whether it's about media whether it's about marketing doing something freelance with your skill you could be a digital marketer you could be a photographer you could be a content creator or a freelance writer a journalist so i mean to say from that perspective this placement can be seen as a very good placement moving ahead friends now if you will find your second house lord's placement in the fourth house so guys this placement can also be seen as a very good sign i mean to say fourth house not only tells about your contentment your happiness land vehicles conveniences this house also tells about the profession of your spouse from the seventh house it is the 10th house so i mean to say your spouse can also contribute to your financial success in this lifetime and just because your second house lord has gone to the fourth house so there is going to be high possibility that whatsoever you are going to accumulate or you are going to earn that money is or could be used for the domestic life for all the healthy hearty family related matters or concerns so which is definitely going to connect you to your happiness so from that perspective this can be seen as a good placement the only thing is that uh, guys with this particular placement from the second house in order to reach the fourth house it is falling in the category of the karma triangle so i mean to say whatsoever you want to earn now whether you are in a Uh, like in a real estate business whether you are in a some sort of luxury business or some sort of selling and um, buying of the vehicles important is that your desire to success needs to be very vehement needs to be very strong which could be acting as a driving force towards your success or towards your financial prosperity moving ahead friends now if any point of time you will find your uh, second house lord to be placed in the fifth house so guys this placement can also be seen as a good placement because as you know this thing that fifth house is the house of your past life good deeds the puru punya we see from the fifth house and at the same time fifth house represents your intellect fifth house represents all kind of risk taking abilities which you might possess we also connect all form of speculative businesses from the fifth house as well so if any point of time you will see your second house lot if it has gone to the fifth house so i mean to say your earning might be little bit speculative in nature there could be little bit of the risk or uncertainty involved over there but what is the learning which we are getting with this particular placement from the vedic principles just because it is falling in the category of the moksha triangle so i mean to say 
no matter how much risk you are taking in which so ever area of life you are investing yourself or your financial income is connected there has to be complete conscious awareness there has to be complete unconditional devotion in that particular area of your life so let's say for example even if you are an artist you are a creative person so you should be completely obsessed you should be completely in the skin of the character whenever you are performing in front of the camera or let's say for example even if you deal in stock market stock exchange so you should be completely in a mode of studying the market before investing yourself so that is one thing which i want to tell you but apart from that this placement can be seen as a very good placement to be in a mode of taking risk and doing something extraordinary in the matters of your financial success moving ahead friends if you will find your second house lord's placement in the sixth house so guys when we talk about the sixth house eighth house twelfth house these are the dushtana houses but at the same time if your second house lord is well placed in this house good results can be attained like i mean to say when we will discuss the second house lord's placement in the twelfth house anyone would say that okay the house of income is going the house lord of income is going to the 12th house of losses but let's say for example in the case of the aries ascendant the second house lord venus is going to get exalted in the 12th house so i mean to say you cannot make any assumption before looking at the dignity of that planet in that particular house so i mean to say one thing which we get to know from this placement is that your financial earning or income would require lot of effort and you might have to come across as very hard hitter or as a very strong fighter in order to accumulate or amass or fulfill any of your financial goals like i mean to say let's say for example your profession or your income could be connected directly to the sixth house connected professions like where we talk about uh, health we talk about fitness we talk about uh, hospitals anything related to healing so if your profession is even connected to those field but at the end you might have to work hard in order to have your financial goals fulfilled and at the same time friends with this particular placement in order to reach the sixth house from the second house you are going to fall in the category of the dharma triangle so which just gives us this indication that righteousness needs to be abided by i mean to say now whether you are dealing in arbitration you're dealing with any of the disputed situation but you have to remain very fair in your financial dealings that is one thing which we get to know or which we learn from over here because let's say for example if you remain unfair or you get swayed by easy gains or temptations of the profit at the cost of compromising on your virtues or values then in those kind of situation sixth house could actually give you or generate lot many enemies at the same time but just because second house lord's placement in the sixth house if it is going to be well placed in a dignified state so with your fighting spirit good financial success can be attained moving ahead friends now if you will find your second house lord's placement in the seventh house now as you know this thing that seventh house is the house of your spouse of the foreign lands it is also the house of business and partnership so i mean to say your financial pursuit can take you to these places right now we are not talking about the other house lords coming to you here we are talking about that you have to go to these areas in order to get your financial goals or financial dreams fulfilled and at the same time just because guys this particular uh, placement is falling in the artha triangle so i mean to say good economic gains or profits can be accomplished can be achieved with the cooperation with the cooperation and the support of other people or the support or the contribution of your partner or even in the foreign lands good success can be achieved accomplished so from that perspective this placement can be seen as very positive now guys moving ahead let's say for example if you will find your second house lord's placement in the eighth house now guys eighth house is a very mysterious house it is a very like esoteric house so i mean to say your earnings could take you very deep 
in any form of analysis, any form of research. Your in-laws might also contribute to your financial gain. And when we talk about the generally connected eight house professions, when we talk about uh, like insurance, wills, inheritances, legacies, unexpected speculative gains. So whatsoever your financial gain or your financial income is going to be, it could be a little bit unpredictable. It could be a little bit uh, unstable. You might have a contractual job. So some days you are not lucky, but suddenly you might get very big contracts. You might get very uh, big assignments. So from all of those perspective, this particular placement can be seen as very positive. Now, guys, just because this combination or this placement is falling in the category of the karma triangle. So the only thing which I want to advise you over here is that your desires, your desires or the driving force needs to be very strong in order to stay strong in the situation or in the in the uh, circumstances of any of the unpredictability or you know kind of vague situation which you might face in order to get your financial goals or financial dreams fulfilled because friends like the way i always give this example out of all the 12 houses eighth house is the house of miracle and when i use the word miracle so i mean to say anything can happen from this house so if your second house lord has gone to the eighth house rather than completely surrendering yourself or getting overwhelmed by any of the delays or negativity or vagueness of the eighth house important is complete uh, divine devotional surrender that is one thing which i want to tell you and your desires need to be very strong in order to bring positivity or positive change in your financial affairs moving ahead friends if you will find your second house lord's placement in the ninth house this can be seen as a very good placement where your financial income or your financial rewards might be divine protected might be uh, like luck or fortune might also help you reinforce uh, your financial state and at the same time now whether your father might have a positive role to play your family name your ancestors blessing might also help might also contribute to your financial success and when we talk about the literal uh, ninth house connected professions like foreign travels we talk about higher studies we talk about wisdom philosophy so all these traits might help you might guide you towards your financial success and at the same time friends with this particular combination if you will start from the second house in order to reach the ninth house you are going to fall in the uh, moksha triangle so that just tells about complete surrender complete conscious awareness of your endeavors of the actions undertaken by you in order to make financial gains that is required for your financial success that is one thing which i want to tell you over here moving ahead friends now if you will find your second house lord's placement in the 10th house so this can be seen as a very good sign because 10th house is the house of our public activities whatsoever you are going to do or conduct in the 10th house that always remains in the public eye that is not hidden from the society so i mean to say your nature of work might involve dealing with government dealing with people in authority or people of high status you might deal with those people or the favor or help of these people might help you fulfill your financial goals and at the same time whatsoever you are going to earn you are actually going to make a good display good public impression out of that so from that perspective as well this placement can be seen as a very good placement of your second house lord and at the same time because this placement is going to fall in the dharma triangle so the only thing which i want to advise you over here is that your financial dealings should be completely righteous no matter how much other people are trusting on you or how much you have achieved or accomplished in this life you should not compromise on your virtues that is something which i want to advise you with this particular placement moving ahead friends if you will find your second house lord's placement in the 11th house so like the way this can be seen as one of the most promising and auspicious dhan yoga or a combination of amassing good wealth because 11th house is the house of your wish fulfillment so whatsoever your financial goals are they 
can get fulfilled in this lifetime with your diligent efforts and at the same time your elder siblings your friends your social network your influence could also contribute to your financial success and at the same time friends with this particular placement i have also seen all those people who have multiple channel of income and just because from the uh, spiritual perspective this particular placement is falling in the artha triangle so which just give us this indication that good high concrete economic goals and dreams can be fulfilled with your second house lord's placement in the 11th house and last friends if you want to understand the second house lord's placement in the 12th house so guys you have to understand this thing that 12th house beyond doubt is the house of losses but it is also the house of your spirituality as well this is also the house of your foreign lands as well so i mean to say your financial quest might take you away from the reality away from your family you might have to go in order to amass or fulfill your financial goals or financial dreams of yours and at the same time if you are going to make use of your earnings in order to give good donations for the spiritual causes that is also going to help you in order to succeed in this lifetime and at the same time friends this particular placement is falling in the category of the karma triangle so i mean to say 12th house along with its spiritual potential it is also the house of bed pleasures as well it is also the house of secretive activities as well so i mean to say no matter how strong your financial quest is there has to be a balance there has to be a moderation and there has to be a caution specifically while engaging yourself in any of the secretive or underhanded activities so that is something friends which i wanted to say you as a part of my inputs or contribution of studying the second house lord and its placement in different houses of our astrological chart for further more updates and notifications on the divine science of astrology please subscribe to my youtube channel and like my facebook page thank you